Hello and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Greg and if you're wondering who this young man is here with me today, this is Kevin. Some of you might remember him as the former host of Playtech TV before me. Now, Kevin is actually running his own channel, Tech Showdown now, yep. um, but what we've actually found is that um, it's time for Kevin to upgrade his machine. Um, it's getting it's, a bit tired. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> right. Um, I mean, things are always changing. You've got to keep on top of that to give a proper accurate benchmark. Yeah. You can't be bottlenecked by anything. Yeah. So we've done a whip around to all of our buddies at um, Corsair, Intel, Asus, Gigabyte, all of these guys. And we've um, basically got together a whole bunch of parts that we can actually build a new PC for Kevin so that he can make sure his benchmarks are accurate and legit and as just serious as they can be um, going into 2016, 2017. Mm. Yeah, and also, you know, I, my, my current build that I had right now was made for gaming, but of course now with YouTube and everything else, I do a lot of um, productivity type stuff, you know, video editing and all that. So this build as well was to satisfy that need, you know, help bring down the render times. Just, just a better build for, you know, productivity stuff alongside gaming, of course, which I'll always be doing. And so, yeah, th that's basically what I was, uh, what we were aiming for with this particular build. Yep, so the aim of the system is to be able to bench and really just like pull the best out of all these graphics yeah. cards and everything yeah. like that. And then also be able to edit that all together and make a sweet video at yeah. the end of that and not take forever to render. Yeah. Uh, so what have we got here, Kevin? Let's um, let's take a run through of these parts and yeah. um, see what we've got. So of course, you know, we'll start with the CPU, the heart of the system. So this is going to be a Broadwell E based build. So we need obviously a Broadwell E CPU and for that we have the i7 6900K so that's a 14 nanometer 8 core 16 thread uh, 3.2 base and 3.7 gigahertz boost uh, CPU with 140 watt TDP so this one's very popular with a lot of people out there um, of course you know it's going to give you great uh, render times and things like that um, you know very very short very good for productivity being eight cores and 16 threads but it'll also be really really kick-ass for all my gaming needs so uh, yeah i think it'll be uh, really good and being a k as well means that it'll be able to uh you'll be able to overclock it which is really good so i'll do a video covering all that uh later on on my channel tech showdown and we can have a bit of fun and see how high we can get this broadwell e cpu and of course, we're going to plug that CPU into a motherboard here, and we've got the ASUS X99 Pro. The reason why we chose this guy, obviously being a Broadwell E platform, it's got a whole lot more PCI lanes that we can make use of. So this guy here actually has three 16 times PCI 3.0 lanes, so that's going to mean that if we ever get to that, then Kevin's going to be able to bench three-way um, crossfire, and um, yeah. you know maybe we'll see what Nvidia do with three-way SLI if they ever go there yeah, again. If, we, if that ever happens again, if we're lucky, um, and, and if that happens, we can definitely uh, make use of that there. Yeah. So of course, you know, we're going to need a good cooler to keep this Broadwell E CPU cool, and for that, we have the Corsair H one hundred and fifteen I. So this one's pretty cool. Um, I've always liked the Corsair coolers. Uh, my current rig, I had a H110i. So going to the H115i is just sort of you know an incremental upgrade. Um, but it's a very very good cooler. 280 millimeter. It comes with Corsair's SP, which is static pressure fan. So that's really good. Also, and it comes with their new pump design, which is supposedly more uh, efficient. So that should lead to better cooling, and it should keep this Broadwell E CPU nice and cool. And so obviously we've got um, CPU, motherboard and cooler. Now we're looking at RAM. We've got the Corsair Dominator Platinum 32 gig set that Corsair have been nice enough to send over. Mm. So this is DDR4 and it is 2800 megahertz. So it is plenty quick and it's got <laughs> absolute um, truckloads of bandwidth there being DDR4. And it also comes with a kind of um, interesting little RAM cooler that's gonna clip on top. <laughs> yeah. um, the reason why it comes with those is because these guys absolutely slay for overclocking. The Dominator yeah. Platinum is some of the um, best RAM for absolutely just cranking the absolute guts out of it. So 
obviously a cooler is going to be of some use i'm sure there <laughs> So we're going to need a, a GPU as well. And this is sort of my bread and butter as, you know, doing the GPU showdowns is like the cornerstone of my channel, uh, Tech Showdown. And I'd cover GPU videos probably the most out of any product. So obviously you need a really good GPU. And for that, go on with the NVIDIA Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080. And this is the G1 gaming model. So I really like the G1 gaming. It actually really impressed me. Even though I haven't actually tested it with the 1080, we tested it on the 1070. I was super impressed by how good the cooling is on it and uh you know it's basically the wind force cooler which has been around since you know the american civil war so um it's you know very tried and true design but yeah i just really like this cooler it looks really good and the 1080 as well it's just sort of the main one i would go for right now you know really really high performance um really good memory you know eight gigabytes of gddr5x so a newer type of memory as well and it just seemed fitting for this build with all the high-end components in it that we put a nice high-end nvidia graphics card in it now the rest of the build is pretty high end obviously and so just some normal crappy old um, hard drive isn't really going to cut it so what we've actually got here is we've got one of the um, intel 750 series pcie ssds the nvme ssd so basically what that is is rather than plugging it into a sata port on the motherboard it's actually plugging in through a pci slot what that mm -hmm. means is you're going to get a absolute um, just insane amount of performance through there yeah. so this PCI um, SSD is actually something like four times faster than a normal SSD yeah. so I mean the only time I've ever really seen performance like that is back when we used to put SSDs into um, into RAID to just really crank the absolute <laughs> guts out of them um, which obviously would just take up lots of SATA ports and you know yeah. then they drop out all kinds of crazy stuff yeah. but this one actually it's just out of the box, just plug it in, and it is absolutely ridiculously fast. Yeah. You know, we are reading at over um, 2,000 megabits per second. Um, so um, definitely, um, there's not gonna be any kind of bottleneck there for yeah. um, transfers. Yeah, so obviously we're gonna need to power all of these uh, components. So for that, we have the Corsair HX1000i power supply. Now you're probably thinking, wow, a thousand watt for these components? Yeah, it is overkill, but that's why we've gone for it because later down the road, given that the motherboard that we're using and everything else, there's it's a very likely possibility that I'm gonna be running, you know, three graphics cards for testing or something like that. So that's a platinum grade power supply, so extremely, extremely efficient. The other thing that I really like about it is that it's fully modular. You know, once you've gone to a modular power supply, oh boy, you cannot you go, go back. back. <laughs> the, the, you know, how tidy you can have it, how clean you can have all your cable management is really, really nice. And uh, of course it features Corsair Link as well, which is uh, good if you just want to keep an eye on what's happening with your power supply. It has their um, zero RPM fan in it, which means that the fan of the power supply actually doesn't even turn on until there's, you know, a certain amount of uh, load going into it. Uh, so that's really good. Also, I just think it's a really, really solid power supply to go with a really, you know, solid build. And obviously, a solid build needs a very solid home to live in. <laughs> so for that, we've got the Corsair 760T full tower case, which yeah. is an amazing case from Corsair. Mm -hmm. They have basically hit it out of the park with this one. Um, just amazing, full functionality. You never have to worry about any space for mm -hmm. graphics cards, hard drives, anything like that. You can go nuts with cooling. And the window on the side is amazing. It's an absolutely <laughs> massive window. Um, so it's just, it's, it's ideal, especially for someone like Kevin who wants to be able to um, load it up with graphics cards and stuff and really show people what's going on inside there yeah. it's um it's just it's a beautiful case and it's uh, you'll never be uh, wanting for any kind of um, functionality there it's absolutely great yeah and it's got plenty of space as well inside so that's good absolutely too. so we got to load it up with some fans as well and for this we're going to be running fans that i just recently reviewed which are these uh, corsair ml 140 pro led fans so these are their maglev um, fan, so magnetic levitation. Um, so that's really, really cool. I covered them more over on my channel, but basically um, it's just their newest technology. They're really, really good. They have the custom uh, fan blade design. Uh, they look really good. We got them in the white LEDs. They also come in red and blue LEDs and uh, being 140 millimeter, they should do us very well going into this build to make sure that all the parts get nice, cool air. And they're a bit of a mix between Corsair's Airflow series and their static pressure series before. So it'll be able to get nice, nice, cool air to all the components are, are cooler and of course the graphics card and everything else 
So now that we've covered all the parts, I'm super, super keen to uh, build this PC up, chuck all of these parts together and see how it comes out. So how about we cut to some, uh, you know, nice cool music and uh, we do a little bit of a time lapse of this build. So here we have the finished build. It came out way better than I ever expected it to. Uh, the white LEDs of the ML140 fans uh, contrast really well with the black case and of course the white uh, Asus X99 Pro motherboard. So it just looks really clean, really, really nice. I'm very happy with it. Um, but of course, uh, this wouldn't be possible without the great help of Playtech, who have been absolutely fantastic to me over the last two years. Um, it's been really, really great working together, and I look forward to keeping on working with Playtech. But also the other companies which helped out uh, with this build, so Intel, Gigabyte, Asus, and of course Corsair, who have been fantastic uh, to work with also. So I'm really, really happy. Thank you guys so much. And uh, I can't wait to get this rig home and start editing and playing some games on it.